So we learn uh, another problem on a uh, square plate lamina with respect to the beta angle. Okay, we will proceed with the question. So in this question, a square plate of 30 mm side, we need to construct a square of 30 mm side rests on HP. So the first position start from the HP plane such that one of the diagonals is inclined at 30 degree. So you can see that one of the diagonals they have mentioned. So one of the diagonals for a square means it is a beta angle problem, right? So one of the diagonals they have mentioned means it is a beta angle problem. So is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. So you can see in this uh, question they have not mentioned either it is resting with the uh, H uh, on the HP plane with respect to edge or corner. So we need to find out okay is it resting with the edge or with the corner. So is he mentioning that uh, the angle of inclination will be there with respect to the uh, with respect to the uh, diagonal here okay. So how we are going to find out so the angle of inclination are there with respect to the first position it is there with respect to the edge or with respect to the corner because you can see say consider this is one of the square so which is connected with the diagonal okay because here in the angle of inclinations were given say like this angle of inclination to HP and an angle of inclination to VP okay so so what we do you can see here so we'll be taking a particular uh, look here so you can understand easily so you can consider this is this only okay so say angle of inclinations will be there with respect to this diagonal here like this so you can see in this so the angle of inclination if it is there with the diagonal means your first position has to be a corner here okay first position has to be corner because uh, so angle of inclination if it is there with the diagonal mm -hmm. then you can see that the first position will be there with respect to the corner only Okay, so here both the inclinations will be there with respect to the diagonal. You can see that one of the diagonal is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. So for that, I'm just drawing a rough sketch. So if say if our first position, okay, just for our trial, okay, trial one, say we have been drawn a square with respect to edge. So what will be the conclusion? Say first position it is, if it is with the edge means what happens? So the second position. So in second position, we are not able to incline it with the diagonal. So diagonal say if it is there here, okay. So we are not able to incline it with the diagonal in the second position. So this one is wrong, okay. This one is wrong. So let's say trial two, trial two. Say we have been positioned uh, square like this. Okay, this is just a rough sketch. See with the corner. So this is our diagonal. Diagonal. So we can incline it in the second position, okay, with the diagonal like this, okay. So we can incline it. Say we have been placed the square lamina like this. Next first position. So in second position, we can incline it, okay, with respect to the corner point, with respect to the diagonal like this. Okay, there are two ends which is connected with the diagonals. So that means our first position starts from the corner point here. Okay, this is how we have to analyze it. Okay. So I'm going to construct a square with respect to corner here. So understood right, there are two trials we have done. So one trial with the edge. So in the second position, we are not able to do it with the, with the diagonal in, in case if it is started with the edge. Say if we have started with the corner means we can able to give the inclination in the second position also and in the third position also. Okay, so how to draw the square with respect to corner means as we have learned, okay. So what is the first I'll be marking a reference point here. So that is what the reference point. Okay, to the reference point. So using a protector, we know the procedure. So we have to mark for 45 degree, correct? So exactly 45 degree we can mark here. So I have marked for 45 degree. So I'll be drawing a line here, passing from this reference point to this. Okay. Okay. Now after this, uh, what we have to do? We have to measure 30 mm because a square of dimension 30. So measure 30 mm from the compass using a scale. Okay. So 30 we have measured. So we can cut the arc here, two arcs. So after cutting the arcs from this end. So you have to cut another arcs, okay. 
okay it is cutting here okay it is wrong so you can take little bit downward okay so because uh, in order to construct it correctly so we take the reference point a little bit lower here so that it should not merge okay so we can uh, mark again 45 degree no need to worry So we have drawn it. Now using the compass, uh, we have uh, measured 30 mm, right? Already measured it. Again, we can measure it again. So it is 30. So cut the arcs. Again, second arc from here. Okay. So you can. Can join this so this is what the square of dimension 30 will show will show the dimension on one side this is 30 now we can mark the naming C A B C and D so now we'll project to complete the first position front view so so we are able to see a dash b dash c dash but d dash not visible here okay now the second position so first two positions will be same 30 degree to HP okay second position so I'll mark a dash I'll be marking at uh, 30 degree so mark at uh, 30 degree okay so it is 30 degree we have to cut the two arcs here okay first arc from this a dash to c dash first arc second arc from a dash to b dash so we can mark the naming b dash d dash and this is c dash okay from this a to c dash we have marked the length and we can erase the remaining part now we can we will be projecting downward okay okay now we can mark the namings A, B, C, this is D. So we can join this. So this is what the first two positions. So first two positions will be remaining same. Now we have to draw an diagonal line here. First we will draw for the first position diagram. Okay. So this is, I will be marking AC1 and this one it is AC. So we will not mark with the other name, the same name but we will change it to AC1. So this is your first diagonal line and this is your second diagonal line. Now so we have to draw the 45 degree angle line okay 45 degree angle line we have to draw uh, we'll be drawing an angle here taking a reference point here so mark for 45 this is 45 we have drawn 
Now, first I will be marking a point, reference point here. Same procedure. Mark point A. Now we have to use this first diagonal length. Okay. AC1. Okay. AC1 we have to measure. Okay. AC1 length I have measured. And I am cutting the arc. This is AC1. So after this, you can draw a locus line here. Calling that locus of C1. Okay. Locus of C. Okay. This is locus of C. Now the second arc length from A to C. Measuring from A to C. Cut another arc. So this point is C. So now we join this. This is where the uh, point you join the next end. Okay. and then you find out this angle so this angle it is your weight angle so here uh, the angle I am getting it is on 55 56 57 degree sorry so 57 degree is my weight angle okay. now you see that this uh, diagram we have to copy okay this diagram already we have drawn ac so we have to construct this diagram here so we already have ac so we have to construct from a to d okay this a to d it is exactly equal to c to d okay just see it a to d length it is exactly equal to c to d and similarly this c to b it is same okay so these two lengths are same okay in a vice versa case you can connect it so now you can mark this so this point is d this point is b so we join this okay. so this is we have done now we have to project upward to complete the Final position. So now we have to complete the final position. You see where uh, A is merging. So this is A dash. Similarly, we have this is B dash. So this point is C dash and uh, this point is d dash now we will join these points to get the final position here okay so this is what the final position